What's Gucci my Fina family? Hope you're feeling absolutely freaking phenomenal. My name of course is Eddie and guys today don't allow my mask to distract you in any way shape or form simply because of the fact that I have roommates that have family over and I don't want to give and or spread any form of germs with the current situation that's going on right now. But with that being said, for my Android users, you guys recently got the political update and you've been asking me to make a video on that. As of right now for iOS, you can also follow along for this particular tutorial. But currently you guys are on the Royal update and we have a sports update coming real soon. So look out for that video in the near future. So pretty much since this update has dropped, a lot of you have asked me, how do you become president? And it's a lot easier than you think. So I scoured BitLife's official website as well as a couple forums and got a good amount of information and was able to actually pull it off in order to show you guys step by step how to do it yourself. So step one, take an existing life that you currently have that has a good amount of money. This could range between a couple hundred thousand, a couple hundred million, as well as a couple hundred billion, and why not throw trillionaire status in there as well? So pretty much take the pre-existing account that has the desired amount of money on it that you want to be able to use, pass that down over to that child, make sure that you're executing everything in your will over to this one specific child, because this is going to give us our first steps into the next step, which is moving on to step two. So for step two, my Android users, unfortunately, you have to surrender your character's life in order to pass everything over and continue off as that child. For my iOS users, you can actually just click on that child that you executed everything to and just continue off as their life by switching their place. Now for step three, this is probably some of the most amount of work you have to put in in order to make this method work. And that is pretty much avoiding conflict at all costs, as well as making sure that your kid is not getting in any trouble, not doing anything pretty much bad. If you need to be popular, that is something that will 100% help. So if you have God mode, go ahead and decrease everyone else's popularity and trying to join things like sports as well as things like martial arts and read a lot of books. Don't forget to meditate as well as going to the gym. And pretty much you're going to repeat this method over and over and over as you graduate through school. I'm talking between preschool to middle school as well as high school, even your way in through college. Now, step four, once you graduate high school, when you're picking through different courses to learn in college, make sure you're picking something that is obviously closely related to being a president. So things like education, political science, information studies, mathematics, all of these different types of degrees that you're able to learn will in fact increase your chances in order to become president. Now, step five, make sure you're rinsing and repeating step three. Like I said before, pretty much just study as hard as you can, make sure that you're joining sports, make sure that you're in with the popular kids. That's not necessarily mandatory, but it definitely helps long term in this game. Now for step six, after you've pretty much graduated college, all you have to do now is go to your occupations tab, scroll all the way down and you will officially see political offices. Now political offices is in fact available to you prior to going to high school and or college. But like I said, with all the previous steps that we have done, this is going to increase your odds of actually being able to get elected, let alone get into the race. Now for step seven, this is where your money is going to be the biggest help. Make sure you are checking your political offices because different countries will have different names for the particular positions. In my case, I actually didn't have president available because I was not based in the United States. I was trying to avoid those taxes. But nonetheless, one of my biggest recommendations is that you need to check all of them because some of them actually have age requirements. And this is going to be one of the biggest things that you'll have to keep in mind long term. So make sure that you are doing the previous methods because once again, it's going to increase your odds, especially after you get into one of these positions. So in my particular case, I went one by one by one and I was actually able to get mayor rather quickly. And I would like to think that had a lot to do with the previous steps we just talked about, as well as the money for my campaign that I was able to leverage seeing how we had over a billion dollars. Now, if you want to have the absolute best approval ratings and you want your people to love you, the best way, and I'm telling you the best way is to continue checking the headlines and what's going on in current events, because that is pretty much the entire bloodline of what the people want from you as whatever you are. 
you'll be able to see what's going on with current events and all you pretty much have to do is go to your agenda and simply favor whatever that particular area is. Now for a quick example, if the school board is in the paper saying they're not receiving enough funding or that classes and textbooks are completely garbage and the curriculum is trash, then all you have to do is just go into your agenda and max it out as much as you can and you can adjust the other ones, whatever you're doing better at and what other areas. So if crime needs to go down, you can do that and favor you know education in this particular case as well as vice versa again for whatever your situation is going on right then and there. So pretty much once you've done that and aged up, you will in fact see results. Now, one of the other little side notes I want to give you guys a quick little tip on, if you in fact get a law that you have to in fact pass that you're not so sure about and you're afraid that it might impact your results, all you have to do is just close the application and just reopen it and it would pretty much be like as if they never bring it up at all and you can completely void it and not have to worry about it ever affecting you ever again. And don't worry, this in fact does work on both platforms. So pretty much as I think about it, you can actually apply this rule to any form of conflict that you want to avoid. For example, if you happen to be famous and be a president at the same time, if you go for any form of photo shoot, books, or whatever the case is, your people may not be a huge fan of that, but you definitely still want that money. All you have to do is when they basically criticize you, just close the application and reopen it. And again, it would be as if it never happened. You know what I mean? Now, one little other side note, as you're going against your opponent in the election, make sure you're reading that because all of those situations become different as time goes on. And I pretty much can't pinpoint exactly which ones do what. So make sure you're reading and you're making the best judgment on which one you choose. Because ultimately, that's going to affect your chances on becoming president, mayor, prime minister, or really whatever your heart desires. Also, I just want to point out maybe one little itsy bitsy tiny little thing. I happen to be able to become a famous politician as a result. So if that's also a goal you're trying to achieve, just make sure that you're posting on social media as you're trying to achieve becoming the president in whatever. So that is how you guys can become a rich, famous billionaire president. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section down below right now. And as you're down there, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the little notification bell just so you get notified every time I put a video out like this, guys. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Peace.